Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David Thorne. In this Swift programming video, I'm going to be showing you how to recursively look through a, a folder to find all files and uh, folder. Basically going all the way to the end so there's nothing to search anymore. Pretty much just what you can do here with uh, the tree command line uh, executable here uh, to find all of the files and folders. And as you can see here, I have this uh, folder called Recursive App. It's a, a React app and it has 4,885 directories and more than 38,000 files. So we are going to do basically that uh, with this. And when we see uh, this run, we can see that it, it runs pretty fast. All right. So this code should run pretty fast too. With that said, this is the path that we need to uh, that one folder and we need a file manager and uh, we can see that hello world, everything is working fine. So let's remove this hello world. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put everything in a try catch block because it's uh, it could throw and uh, if it does throw we're just going to print the error and uh, we're just going to exit here too all right so we we've got to remember right is that we need to go recursively so let's just do it not recursively first of all and we'll adapt the code uh, from there all right so we've got to say uh, contents is equal to try and file system contents of directory at uh, root path now just for the sake of it i'm going to say folder is equal to root path here because we're going to need it in the future it stops us making mistakes and in here we're going to say uh, for uh, contents uh, for content in contents and let's just print out uh, the path here and we'll say then folder plus and then forward slash plus and then uh, content here and we'll just run this and you'll see that we get only a few files and folders because it hasn't recursively gone into it. So we need for every single time it, it finishes this one, we need it to go into the next folder and so on. Now you could mess around, say if this and do lots of recursive function calls, but I've got a faster way and having too many recursive function calls on the stack could lead to a stack overflow. So it's not, it's not really the best thing to do. So how can we do this without doing that? Well, what we've got to do here is have um, something, a, a, a set, right? And I use set because it basically doesn't have, uh, it's always unique, right? And we're just going to say folders is equal to a set of strings. And inside this, we are going to say root path. And now we know that there is one inside the folders. So we're going to say remove uh, first. Now we have the folder and you think, okay, how does this help? Well, well, if we do this, now we can say repeats, right? While, uh, sorry, we want folder, yeah, folders here. While well, folders it is not empty, right? And we can place this code now in here. And now when we run this, we get exactly the same results, right? Get exactly the same results, but now we're in a repeat while loop. And yes, okay, it only went once. But so now we're gonna need to have to check to see if this is a, if this is a folder here, Let's just pop it in this folder set and it will just keep going, right? So we need now to see how we can find, we need and a way to be able to collect those folders uh, that we've searched, right? Because we're gonna be popping them off. So we're gonna go, for, whoops, go through here and search folders. And as soon as it's searched one, we'll say search folders, insert, and then uh, the actual folder, whoops. The folder that it took off. Now this needs to go with inside of uh, here first of all. So every single time we go into this loop we are popping a folder off of the list right and we're going to put it in the search folders as we go through. Now as we come to each uh, content item we're going to say node path and we're going to take this instead and put this into a node path and now we need to check to see whether or not um, this is a directory. So we can just quickly quickly come up here and say is directory right whoops and say node path and uh, boolean here make is the and we'll say objective c here i've made a video about this if you're interested and if file here file exists node path ampersand is directory if it's not a file right return false otherwise return uh, is dr boolean value right so now we've got this function that basically checks to see whether this node path is a directory and if the file 
Well, sorry, if the file doesn't exist, we return false. Otherwise, we just decide from here if it is a directory. Remember, this could be a link as well. So here we're going to say if is a directory node path, then let's put it into folders, right? Let's say folders insert node path. Else, we've now found a file. So we can now say, uh, we'll say found files here as well. And we make that set obviously as well because we only want unique values. And we insert then the node path here, okay? And we're not gonna put any results out. So now, every single time we go through each content, we are building the node path. We're checking if you are a directory, go put that into the folders directory. Every single time we go through the repeat, we're removing the first one off. So first in, first out. And then we are placing it in the search folders once we are finished. And whatever files we find, we're putting in the found files, whatever folders we find, and so on. So now when we run this, we should just see program exited with zero, all right? Because we haven't outputted anything. So let's just say here now, and say prints, and uh, what, what did, uh, this, this said uh, the, the number of directories and then this. So let's just copy this, right, and place that in there. And we'll replace this with searched folders accounts. And then we'll replace this with uh, found files counts. okay? And then when we run this, you should see exactly the same number, right? So this has gone through it. Now, just a top tip on this, if you run tree without minus A, you'll see that we get a different number because it didn't go into the likes of Git directories, hidden folders and stuff like that. It just looked at normal folders. So now you can see that you've got 4,885 directories. And just for the sake of, of a little bit of fun, let's come here and say start and let's say date, time with interval, and then come down here and say end, uh, and then say date. Uh, time with interval, and then we can say uh, completed, so we'll say duration. Duration is equal to end uh, minus uh, starts and completed in duration seconds. And we run this again. You can see it completed in uh, just just under or just over a third of a second, uh, right? To do all of this, so and this is not using any recur recursive functions. Yes, we are calling a helper function all the time, but that's not that's not recursion. This is on the stack all the time, and we could inline this function as well uh, to be probably even more optimized than that. So this is how you can. Uh, now check all of the files. This is now how you can go recursively through the file system. Now, you could even probably make this even faster by uh, putting this uh, using, uh, basically by using a, um, a dispatch queue and so on, but you're already pretty fast. You know, as long as you are not like comparing files and so on, uh, then you shouldn't have too much of a problem just because the file system already knows what files are inside of each folder, right? So you, you're not necessarily going through the files. You're just going to each directory and say, hey, what are your entries, please? And it's providing you with this list. So it's really quite quick already, all right? And uh, computers today with, you know, iterating over loops of, of a couple of thousand is nothing. You know, when you're talking about hundreds of thousands, that's when you really start slowing down. But this is nothing. 4,885 directories and 38,000 files is nothing whatsoever. With that said, I hope that you got something out of this one video. I just wanted to show you how simple it is to, to recursively search through a directory and obviously how quick it is anyway, all right? So if you if you seem to think, oh, that's, that's gonna be a lot of work on the computer, it's not at all. It's a super simple function, and it's something like this you should be able to understand quickly. Now, as a, a golden nugget on this, as just an extra thing, if you want to put this search uh, on a background queue, on a dispatch queue, all right? You are, when you write to folders, when you, um, first of all, you're if you're taking the folder off of this list, you're going to have to have a, a dispatch queue that's going to synchronize the uh, read and the writes from this, okay? Otherwise, you're going to have a race condition on it. And uh, with that said, also the found files as well, you're going to, and, and the search folders. So you, you need to add a dispatch queue in here to have some form of synchronization. Now, 
you could also think that when you come to want to put them on a, on a background queue, you might think you don't want to make too many threads. Well, that's not true. You should basically just iterate, you should put every single folder here to do a new search on its own background thread and use the likes of a dispatch semaphore um, because a dish sa dispatch semaphore, let's just say sem here, uh, has a value in it, right? And if we just say three, and then you say sem uh, weight and sem uh, signal, okay? This weight will say, hey, are you, uh, are, if you're more than one, if you're more than zero, right? Then, because at the moment it says three threads can, or three people can access this one semaphore at a time. Three threads can access it at any one time. So when you say sem weight, as long as this is uh, more than zero, you'll come straight through, right? And then you'll signal to say, hey, um, you will increment it once again, this one value to say I'm finished. So you could regulate it by saying you only want say like four or five threads running at one time. And then, so I mean, you could do the work, do the uh, work here, right? And this is sat with inside of your dispatch queue, all right? So, it's just another way round of, of doing it, but I've spent a lot of time on doing this and I've got it really, really fast. And uh, I might make another video uh, about about it uh, to see how much faster we can uh, make this, all right? Um, but I, I'm pretty certain I can make it a, a couple of orders of magnitude faster um, than this, especially on uh, an M2 chip on, on this Mac Mini. Um, and also a SSD uh, drive as well. It's going to be even faster than that. Yeah, this come to think of it, this this third of a second is, is super slow. All right, super slow for uh, SSD and also um, the the M2 chip. It should be a lot faster than that. With that said, I hope that you got something out of this one video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do all of the other social media things that you can do out there. Um, if you've got any questions, feedback, or concerns, please do not hesitate to. Uh, uh, start conversation in the comment section down below. Other than that, thanks very much for watching. My name's David Thorne. See you in the next video. Ciao, ciao, and goodbye.